I think the first thing is one learning to clear out because I find that uh, most ADD people um, I don't like that term because I don't think it's a deficit the way I think and the way you might think if you consider yourself ADD um, but it's more I'm very very sensitive and um, can easily get pulled if you think of like a cat walking and the cat will walk and then all of a sudden get distracted and then like get distracted by um, chasing something and then maybe decide that he wants to roll over in the sun and I don't have judgment about that cat's way of being being I don't know inefficient or a deficit it's just a different way of being and so if the cat's trying to get something done then there needs to be a system that works for it so essentially with me one I I have a thing where I stare as an act of meditation um, I stare oftentimes at something beautiful um, in order to clear out everything from my internal field my my physiology to give my physiology a little reboot in present time because I'll um, get distracted by all sorts of things or um, I'll be in a group and feel the group dynamic change and that will change me internally and I'm just I'm very sensitive to it and it can easily shift the course of um, my events if if I'm not aware of it or if I am aware and I let it so I do a lot especially if I'm needing to be productive I'll just stare and notice what I'm feeling inside notice what I'm thinking and then imagine it feel it um, invite it to pass through me because then I have access to me more me without the the clutter of um, experience I'm having so I'll clear out one and then I think another uh, another key point is the ability to prioritize and so that's to the ability to take a wide lens view of a project I'm doing at the beginning of my work days because I'm self-employed and have a lot of projects um, I need to do this every day and so one I have a uh, ongoing list system um, that helps me prioritize and helps me re-enter um, but two it's okay what what needs to take precedence today what needs to be important today and and what does that what are the ingredients in that that are needed so I and then I'll, I'll, I'll capture that somehow either just in my head or through a list system with the computer with my notes on my phone or something or some fun creative notes that I actually write down because then I have the freedom to be fully in a project and let my mind try I, oh the third is I trust myself I choose to trust my inherent way of being as the most efficient and wonderful way for me to be because it's how I am and so the combo of the three would be I empty out I'm always noticing when I get a little bit overstimulated or I notice when I'm distracted I notice if I want to be and I do a lot of clearing that's why I do a lot of hands-on clearing a lot of work with my stones a lot of visualization a lot of meditation a lot of movement to keep clearing my field because it gets overstimulated pretty easily then two ongoing prioritization so really looking at um, the big picture to the small details and continuing to do this sort of dance in between them making sure that where I am is where I want to be in the grand scheme of things and then once I am focused on like this right now I'm making a video and I am not thinking about anything else I am empty except for this and that's a discipline it's a practice and I'm choosing to trust that whatever I'm doing however I'm being is exactly what you'll need right now so those are the three things that I'd give you today.